All right, shalom lechem, guys. All right, everyone, everyone, I want everyone to take a seat in the middle right now. Let's sit on the sides, guys. Let's sit on the sides. It's not, it's not a couple of kind of mitzvahs. Guys, we've had a lot of, this week's Torah Chaim Seminar, we've had a lot of informative Torah Chaim Seminars in the past few months. We had guys, we had the, we had the come check for the tzitzis, we had the guy come for the shadness and push it. Guys, Rahman and Salon, some of the guys found out that the, the shadness is, is not kosher, guys, the shadness isn't kosher. We found it's a key line, guys. Then we had the, the safer come with the tefillin, and you guys know what we even found, that one of the guys, the bazooka rapper in his tefillin. Yeah, the, for the parshish, the bazooka rapper, guys. The bazooka rapper. These things happen. So guys, this time we have a mamash. These things that make a Jew mamash get faltic. The puzzle, the rice. So what can we do, guys? What can we do? We gotta, we gotta check to make sure. I know you guys are coming from modern Orthodox, these uh, this idiotic backgrounds, of modern Orthodoxy, and uh, I understand you guys, the, the background you're coming from, guys. You can have. Uh, so guys, so I, I need you guys to be big boys right now. I need you guys to be big boys. This week, guys, we're gonna have something very special, guys. I need you guys to be big boys about this, guys. This year, for, uh, we're gonna be bringing in Rav. We're gonna be bringing, we're gonna be bringing Rav Schmeckel Snipper, guys. Guys, he's a leading expert. Rav Schmeckel Snipper is the leading expert. He's the best model in the world. He's the leading authority in all things Mila related. And he's gonna be—he's the best mole in the world, guys. He's gonna bring and he's gonna show everyone here. He's gonna show you the logistics of what happens to them all. Many guys don't know this, but they're mole mamish. The, the, some of the moles we had in the past, the kids who had their brisses, the mole mamish worked. In the, he worked at the company for Busser, for uh, for Treif meat guys, Treif Chazer. He worked, and then he did—he gave them the he gave them the bris. It's posh, it's not kosher, guys. So, guys. So he's going to show you the logistics here, he's going to do a little presentation about how Bris Mila works. Then he's going to be in the corner, guys. Guys, then he's going to be in the corner, over there, and he's going to be checking everyone. He's going to be checking everyone's schwanzes. So guys, you guys have to be big boys about this. You guys are going to go. He doesn't charge too much, guys. He only charges 400, uh, I think it's uh, 350, 400 shekel, guys. Only chucks uh, for churches as much. Only charges four hundred shekel. Guys, I expect everyone to go to him. Not little babies, guys. While the people are in the army over there, dying, dying for this country, guys. And the little babies can't go check for can't go check our for for the for the for the mitzvah, the kabbal mitzvah of bris of the bris. All right, guys. So we gotta make sure that everything's but that's kosher down there. Make sure that the shvatzes are but that's kosher. Okay, guys. So as I said afterwards, he's gonna be checking schwanzes over there in the corner, and I want everyone to go there. No need to be a little baby. Everyone's gonna go up there and check. And if you need to get something fixed, you need to get something fixed. So fine, you little babies, how are you gonna get fixed? All right, guys. This is the Torah Chaim Seminar. Should be here any minute, guys. So be so good to, to make sure schwanzes are all kosher. But that's my hundred.